those particles are hydrophobic, so they don't like water. The particles are kind of far apart, so there's lots of spacing in between. And that, when you put water on top of it, traps a little pocket of air. And so the water actually never really touches the surface at all, and that's why it just rolls off. This waterproof nanotechnology was first developed for the U.S. Navy, but it has many other applications, like right here on the Okanagan, for some of these boats, or even that plane behind me. So they come in powder or in solution form. You mix those with a plastic, and they sort of bind together. Mm. Um, so what we figured out is you can still achieve this drag reduction if you minimize the size of these nanoparticles um, while still keeping as much of that air trapped at your surface as possible. Another application um, is for oil pipelines. So uh, as the oil is moving through the pipeline, it has to push across itself to get through the actual pipeline. Right. If there's less resistance, on the walls of the pipeline, you can push more oil faster, so the, the price of oil can go down. It actually comes down to the very, very tiny uh, geometry of these nanoparticles. Um, they have to involve this cool type of texture called re-entrant texture. Mm. It sort of has to overlap on itself, and when you have that, plus this hydrophobic chemistry, uh, you can repel basically any type of liquid. Scaling up the project for big boats is going to be difficult, could take another couple of two years, but really one of the other applications is a replacement for Gore-Tex. And the designers are working with Lululemon and Arcteryx, both Vancouver-based companies, right now as a replacement product, which you'll see in stores maybe inside of a year. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.